Okay, so speed painting tutorial. We're going to go from this to this in about 40 odd minutes. Okay, no tricks, no special tools. We're not going to be doing airbrushing or anything like that. Um, I'm not going to be um, doing here's one I did earlier, other than the fact that I've given you the example. Okay, we're just going to go straight into it. I'm going to use a mixture of techniques a little bit of dry brushing, uh, a little bit of wet brushing, um, uh, wet blending, um, but we'll, we'll show, I'll show you that as we go through. Okay, um, the base I've made out of um, just a piece of cork, um, nice and easy, and I've just sprayed it, um, and then the model. Um, I bought off uh, online just fits nicely there so it's, it's all that, that sort of things has been sort of pre done took me about I don't know half an hour to to cut it to shape and uh, get it prepped okay but other than that there's no prep time um, obviously it's been under COVID okay um, I'm going to be using a, a mix of, of browns obviously um, with this model um, the, the the lizard skin I wanted to uh, blend into the the background or, or, or the base um, so it's uh, all very similar colors uh, what I will do is once I've detailed this um, in the next session I will then do a, a semi-gloss varnish on it just to make the skin look more reptilian um, but at this point in time I don't want to do that because uh, there's I don't want to add detail in over the top at this point in time we're just gonna make it get it to this basic standard okay uh, and I don't mean to cause any offense with that some people are gonna go that's amazing some people are gonna go that's not very good depends on your own uh, standard of painting um, to be honest for 40 minutes of work to get to this standard I'm quite chuffed with it um, I've been painting for I don't know 30 odd years now um, and uh, it, it, you know it's always nice when you've got a, a lovely model that works well for you um, but I'm gonna crack on um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give the skin a little bit of a, of a coat um, uh, sorry the other thing I was gonna do is go through brushes a nice one inch dry brushing brush for a bit later okay uh, just a rough brush yeah, nothing special. Fine detailing brush, okay. Uh, this is a five zero, okay. Uh, and then just a uh, general thin brush. I think this is a three zero. Um, this is usually what I do. You'll also notice, I don't know if I can get it close enough. It's gonna blur out there. There's a slight kink on that brush end. Now, a lot of people will go, oh, I'm gonna throw that away. I don't, I actually use that and you'll see um, hopefully in a bit. You'll see a bit more of that. Um, I just thought actually, because of the skin, well, I'm actually going to do the base first because it takes longer to dry. So um, what all I'm going to do is give this base some uh, colour, just like the skin, like randomly. Uh, where we've got it here, it's almost like a, cro a cross section of the uh, soil. Um, so I'll do some lines in here. Uh, I'm just going to build some colours in. Again, the same as the skin, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in um, a random colour, okay, uh, which um, on this one, I added in some red. Uh, you might be able to pick it up. I'm not quite sure. You can just about see it. So I added some red in there just to, to, to be random. Um, it just adds a little bit more detail. Uh, today, I'm going to be really brave. and I'm going to add in some of this. Okay, now I'm not trying to promote any uh, particular brands or anything like that. I won't be t telling you uh, to use this color or that color. Um, I, a lot of my paints are uh, Games Workshop, but um, any any paints are just as good. Good. This one's a slightly different um, brand, but I, I, I'm just literally got, using what's in my uh, in my cupboard. Okay, so let's get crack a Um Nice and simple. I'm just going to start building in some dark colours first. Okay, again, just using that that rough brush. I'm just going to flick in some colour. Okay, and again, the idea is this is speed speed brushing, so I'm just going to gently mix it through. Nothing major. It doesn't have to be really, really tidy, and you'll understand why um, as you as we get to the end. It will actually all mix in very nicely indeed. So just adding in 
little sections, little bits of colour, okay, um, <clears throat> and to a certain degree, the quicker you go, the better, because the, the less you think about it, actually the better result you end up with, okay, so I'm just going to throw in some colour here, all right, what I might do is just add in a little bit of water, just to spread that out a little bit, but, you know, having some sharp edges, some blurred edges, again, gives a much better overall effect in the end. I'm just going to throw in some Balor Brown, so it's like an ochre colour, okay, um, possibly not in that, that hole there, but I will just bring it up on this peak, and again, I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, throwing loads of detail in, I'm just sticking that colour in, for, <laughs> for want of a better phrase, okay, I'm just popping it in, okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to throw in a mid-brown, this is an old one, I'm amazed this is still living, this is snake bite leather, so I'm just going to add a little bit in here, just pop that in, uh, pop it in here, bom, 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 bom. and again, it's nothing, nothing magical, nothing secretive, we're just popping it in, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to throw in my splash of colour. Now, <clears throat> bravery is the key on this. <clears throat> Worst case scenario, if it goes terribly wrong, spray it and do it again. Okay, but I'm going to go for, whereas before I went through the middle, underneath the uh, lizard man, this time I'm going to bring it in up here. And this one, when it thins down, it kind of goes a bit greeny, um, which is, you know, it's quite, quite, uh, you look at it now and you go, that uh, just looks terrible. Um, and I agree with you. <laughs> Talking to myself, it's quite difficult. Uh, we're just going to add a little bit in there and then we'll perhaps pop in a little bit there. Okay. Again, I don't want to go, go mad. Just mix that in a little bit. Spread that around. Now that greeniness, make it look like it's staying in the earth. Okay, that will all disappear in a bit. Now I'm not even going to let that dry. All right, I might give it a little, little blow over there. Okay, not going to let that dry. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a wash. So I've got Surf and Sepia and Agrax Surf Shade. Um, I'm going to quite literally throw it on there. And while this is drying, we'll then crack on with the main model. Okay. Just be aware that when you get paint on your fingers, try and um, keep your hands clean because you don't want to be putting that detail onto the model. Um, I've got four kids, so I've got a house full of wet wipes, which is great. Right. For cleaning my hands, that is. <laughs> Okay, let's pop that down. So I'm going to start off with the Agrax Surf Shade. Um, this one will be thrown on quite quickly, and then I will literally, before this one even dries, I'll then go to the Surf from Sepia. Um, so predominantly what I'm just going to do is place this all over. Uh, the darker areas are where I want, I want this to be, you know, a little bit more uh, contoured and, and textured. Um, sorry, contrasted, not textured. Okay, so we're just going to literally pour this on. Okay, bring this down the side. Uh, definitely going to throw some down in here. Okay, now it might go a little bit milky. That's not a major issue. Okay, as I say, um, when it starts mixing in like this, you see that it goes a bit milky. Don't panic. All, right, it, all you do is, if it still looks milky when it's dried, you just put a little bit more over the top. When you're done so i'm just going to throw this right away around that bottom edge just to give a little bit of depth i'm not going to go over the sand so i'll pop a bit of sand in there to fill a bit of a gap and there we go just popping that in there okay throw that in okay so again don't be afraid of throwing it in you want a natural look so if you try and overthink it, then it, it stops being so natural. So you just got to kind of go with it. I know that sounds very blasé, uh, but it's true. Right, I'm just going to pop that down for a second, wash the brush off, because I don't want to contaminate my other colour. 
and then while that's still wet, pop this in. Okay, pick that up. Put a lot of them. And we're just going to pop in over the top of the color, the other colors. Now, from here, I can then start adding into these other areas. Now, I am kind of cross contaminating there, but that's all right. It's not bad. Uh, that red, I think I might have to put a little bit more on after. Now, I'm going to put this into the sand. So, this is a little less aggressive for uh, your, your sand texture. So it allows a nice highlight once it's dried. Again, just popping that in on the areas that I've missed with the other color. I'm gonna add that in. So what you'll find is the top, sort of the top layer will then slowly go into the other. Oh, that's, that's, that's way too, way too grubby. I'm gonna take that away for a second, just dab that off. There we go. And just pop that back in so again if it's oh, add water brilliant okay I'll, I'll tell you what i'm going to change this to your tutorial to how to do things that you shouldn't <laughs> there we go okay i might actually darken that up a little bit more i've got to say it's uh that is quite bright but we'll see how it dries okay and as i say that just sits to the side for a bit and dries so the colours we, we're using are, as I say, exactly the same as what we're going to use for the flesh tones. Okay, so from here, the first thing we're going to do, very similar to the colour we've already got undercoated, um, we're just going to lighten it up just a little bit. And I'm not even going to coat the whole model on this. I'm literally just going to um, cover the, the sort of the fleshy bits. So I don't really want the scales. I'm just going to pop in here and get it on the fleshy bits. There we go. Okay, um, you want to make sure there's no bubbles in here, but you want to sort of, I say, because we're speed painting, you want to get it nice and quick. You got to be careful though, because uh, I noticed on this one, I did actually get a bubble on the chest. You can just see there, um, not a major issue uh, because we'll clean that up in post. Um, so uh, a little bit later, but yeah, just uh, be aware of it. And then, so yeah, pop this in. Do -do -do. Okay, as I say, this this one, um, <clears throat> I've, I've seen a few videos where speed painting has been done and, uh, you know, people suddenly come out with airbrushes and they want to do this, that and the other. And, and I, th I think it's not really, oh, it's great, um, you know, but what I want to do is just so show you that actually if you've only got an hour to get a couple of models out, that it is possible. Um, so it's not a uh, not major issue. All I'm doing there is like where I've got a bit of excess, I'm just dry brushing it over the head. Um, so you'll see as we uh, start blending that in later, um, it'll, uh, it'll become a lot cleaner. And we're just gonna go down into the tummy a little bit, not too much, and down the tail. So the only thing you will need to do is get into those uh, little crevices here. Um, which again, that that's the you know a bit takes a bit of time. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Oops, so I'll throw my model away. Just run into that tail a little bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. It's uh, it's kind of kind of difficult with the uh, camera above me and I'm trying to see what you guys can see there we go just pop, whip that in um, it's, tr it's nice to try and get into the gaps but to be honest it's not the end of the world if you don't um, as I say to get these um, so I'm thinking more along the lines of pe people with tables that, that you know they just want to get models on the tables um, or on the games mat then uh, this is a great way of doing it um, and the other thing is, what I found is I now have thousands and thousands of models that I've, I've been like, oh yeah, I really want to get them done, and never got round to it. So <clears throat> now I'm, I'm kind of speed painting a lot of my stuff, just so that it's there at a, a, a reasonable standard, so I can then go back and do more details as and when I want to. Um, it's not, uh, you know, because I spent a lot of time doing high detail work and 
you think that's great you know but actually um 90 percent of the stuff on my shelves is still black which uh it's not so good so it's quite a quite a depressing looking um armies that, that just basically very very black okay i think i'm nearly done on this actually just go on the inside of the thigh there again it's nothing nothing too much it's quite subtle the difference uh yep yeah, i'm happy with that okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to then <clears throat> highlight the scales so i'm going to go for a like a sandy brown so this is balor brown apologies talking with my mouthful or with a brush um and the hook on this brush is great for sitting into those details so what i'm going to do load up my brush i'm just going to pop in here and hook in okay so hopefully you can see that okay um and once i've gone around the edge i can then fly in a little bit harder just making sure that i thin out that coat don't leave it too thick okay because it it then you can tell when someone's put too much paint on it looks claggy and it it's not very not very attractive at all um, this is borderline on too too thick you can see it coming in here so you just drag that out pop, pop, pop. okay and don't worry if you go over the lines a little bit don't panic about it at the moment again i you know um we are looking at um doing this quickly so a lot of the blending that we're going to be doing in a bit will actually get rid of the majority of the detailing um not detailing uh, of the mistakes around the detailing um but uh <clears throat> we can always go back in afterwards that's the beauty so i'm just going to pop this in flush this with color and i'm going to stop about there now when i get to here what i'm going to do just wet my brush i'm just going to wipe it side to side and stretch it out just a little bit just a tiny bit of wet, wet blending like that okay so you can see it's nothing uh it's not that accurate it's just blending it in very quickly very gently okay and then i'm going to go back to painting in from here bob bob okay so um, again this it really does depend on the model you're painting as well um, i've picked these ones because um, I, I i really like these models to be honest um i, I bought three of them um for they were quite cheap actually um they're just uh they're printed uh, 3d printed um uh but I, I think they're really nice models and uh i thought well actually they'll they fit really nicely with the stuff that i'm already doing so it's always difficult to find good lizard men models there's some really nice ones out there but they're really expensive whereas these ones are really nice and they were cheap as chips so um i'm, I'm very happy with these um in fact i've actually just bought some more um and what i've done there um i've just made a mistake under the arm just whip that off with a bit of wet water wet water rather than dry water um there we go and pop him back in uh, you can tell this is my first video because uh, I know what I'm talking about, but uh, I do tend to talk a lot of rubbish as well. Hopefully it's sweet and entertaining rather than irritating. And <laughs> Let's see. Just popping that in there. Oh, I'm moving out of the screen. Sorry, boys and girls. So just want to pop that in there. There we go. Going up into the neck. And what we'll do is we'll just add a little bit of shading in on top of here uh, in a bit. So once we've uh, sorted out the the base colour. So again, just throwing it in over these hips, scales on the hips. Popping it in there. Uh, there we go. Just notice it was off uh, out of focus. So I hope that hasn't been like that for the last 10 minutes. That'll be really bad okay just popping that in there um, round to the knee just down into the shin a little bit there bop, bop, bop. again need to do a bit of blending now so just 
just a slightly wet brush wet blend into there that's nicely done and there oh too much take it off oh there we go so the good the good thing with wet blending is if you didn't mess it up you just add more water and just wipe it away keep going i mean again that's so subtle um by the time we've done with the process you won't see that at all so um it's quite um I'm not I'm trying not try not to be blase about it, but this way, um, as I say, you're going to get a good standard of model without um, without having to panic too much about what you're doing. You're just going to work on. Is that gone out of focus again? I'm not sure. I can't really see. Um, just going to run down the side here. And the scales. Okay, so we've just got the forearm on that side, and I might do a little bit on the crest for this one. Um, so let's get this bit done first. The, the, the awkward thing of this is because I'm doing this all in one hit, I'm not going to edit this at all because I want it to be as realistic as possible. I don't, I don't want you to think that. I'm doing this and like, oh, you know, he said he did it in the X amount of time. Well, actually, I just went and cut it all in. Nah, I'm just going to do it. Okay, so that's where we're at so far. Yeah. I'll just make sure this is in focus. Okay, so we're at that position. That's all right so far. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little bit of flesh colouring. Okay, which on a lizard you go, well, they're not fleshy, but actually they do have little areas of pink so I'm going to go around the eyes and I'm going to go into the belly so for this I'm just using rat skin flesh okay so it's quite a quite a pinky pink it's not it's not um, it's like a it's not bright pink but it's quite fleshy um, all I'm going to do is going to run some paint straight down the middle okay so don't fill in the detail but I'm just going to pop it in all the way down there okay from there, I'm just going to get my wet brush, okay, I'm just going to wet blend that out. Gradually just tease it out like that, okay. You can go as wide as you want, okay. If I go too wide, so actually on the chest there, I want that a little bit more filled in, so it's watering out too much. That's fine. Just pop back in, add a little bit more, okay. And then just tease that out again like that okay as we blend that wet blend that out boom, boom, boom. there we go what i don't want to do is go under there because that's too far okay we just turn it around and we go to the other side so they're starting to dry out now so we just add a little bit of water flesh that out quite literally just add a little bit more in here Drop that into those gaps. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Normally I have some sort of music on, but um, I'm not got music on tonight because uh, one, I don't want to get done for copyright because someone will complain I'm playing music. And the other thing is, I know that you guys want to listen to my lovely accent, my lovely voice. So, and now we're just going to wet brush that in there and again if you're struggling with this a little bit this is a bit awkward actually so all I'm going to do where it's it's flooded off to this side I'm just going to pull that back there I don't want to go too far down the tail um, I'm not going to certainly not going to do the full length of it um, but coming down this way a little bit is fine and I could be quite rough and then just brush it back there we go and I think well, I think it's boring on too much actually but it's alright pull that back there we go okay um, you could also do the palms of the hands um, I 
I'm not going to on this one because uh, he's got um, both his hands are clenched around these um, whatever they are bats or whatever they're clubs um, but what I'm going to do is going to go up the neck slightly so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to sit it just into the jaw here okay so on both sides careful not to put that on the scales there we go okay and then finally I'm going to go into the eye sockets in a minute but first I'm going to blend these bits in so just keeping those nice and soft sorry I moved out off the screen again didn't I such a rookie all right there we go pull that up and again it's quite this is quite a lot of fleshy actually uh, there we go and just draw this one through so although it looks strong now that'll all get flushed down be weaker later on okay okay cool so uh, eye sockets I'm going to be quite um, strong with this one this is just going to go sit in that socket I'm just going to roll it through the socket there okay uh, the detail uh, well we'll do a little bit of detail on the eye um, but again we are looking at doing it as quickly as possible okay so that's in try and get that focused Boop. no stop focusing on my paint pot there we go so you can still see that's still wet obviously okay so you know we're still working at a reasonable reasonable pace um <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is we're going to add in a little bit of um, darker brown on the top of the tail um, and the um, top of the head so from here I'm just gonna paint a line down that center there okay again a little bit of water I'm just gonna wet blend that there and wet blend it here Boom, boom, boom. Again, nothing too, nothing too dramatic. Okay, um, I could go into things like the thighs and stuff, but actually, um, I found with this one, keeping them plain, um, flesh, flesh tone actually worked really well. Um, is and it's also definitely something that you can highlight uh, later on when you're um, detailing. So we're just going to add a little bit of a patch here and here on the shoulder. Um, just to give a little bit of depth and again just wet blend that in gently boom 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 easy peasy well, I say easy peasy apologies okay now what I'm going to do is wet blend this across the top of the tail so I'm working through here okay get the top of that tail curving through there okay so once I've done that, then I'm going to wet blend it. So take the excess off. I'm just going to run that through. This might take a little bit of wiping off, actually. We'll see. Bop, bop, bop. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now I don't want that to go on the leg. So I'm just going to pull that into there. And if need be, I just wet the brush again and draw it out away from there, away from that leg. Okay, just pop that in there. Okay, and I'm just going to go back to the other side without trying to touch the head. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ding -ding. Sorry, singing right away across that ridge. Okay. I'm going to give it a turn. Oh, yikes. Okay, and then we're going to wet blend this side as well. So you want to try not to go all the way down to the to the edge. About midway for the half toning, okay. So that's where we're at front, 
and back okay as you can see the tail's still wet so now we're going to start working on a little bit of detailing um, <clears throat> for the for the shield on this one um, I just used um, I stippled a few different colors on there added a bit of green in there as well um, but that was very simple and then I did a simple brown dark brown band across the wrist again that's kind of naturally highlighted with the washes that we use but um, you can do um, extra highlighting later on okay I'll leave that there um, in fact yeah, you can see that better now so <clears throat> let's just pop back to the base very quickly this is the one we just left to the side you can see that most of it's dry now so um, we're doing okay the only thing I'm going to do to this once it's finished is I'm going to dry brush it um, very lightly and I'm just going to paint a, a clean colour around the edge just to finish it off. That base is pretty much done. If you want to add a bit of, um, I don't know, bush work or floral work or whatever, you know, um, again, it all depends on the model you've got. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight the bone parts of the structure, uh, the face and stuff. So just... Uh, I'm going to use flayed one flesh okay and I'm going to get my detail brush now okay and I'm going to probably start with the feet actually um, just because they're kind of tucked out of the way so the some of these paints are um, starting to dry out so but that's a good thing I, I, I like mixing get a, a slightly thicker consistency on some of them just to get um, a, a single coat on some of these again when we're speed painting last thing you want is to be doing a doing a, um, a coverage and then you have to go back on it and then back on it again um, it's great if you're um, competition painting obviously you are then um, doing thinner layers and you get a finer smoother result which is brilliant uh, but uh, competitions obviously you want to spend a lot more time doing your model than uh, 40 minutes to an hour so um, you know, although you get, as I say, you'll get a really good result with this um, if you want high detail and a really nice, smooth finish ready for a competition, then uh, perhaps this isn't the way to do it. Um, but it's one of those things where a lot of people have asked me about how, I'm, how I do my painting. Um, and actually, one of the main ones is how do I paint my armour? So I, I'll look at doing a, an armour tutorial soon. Um, because I've actually just changed the way I do my armour slightly. Um, it's it's very much a similar system to what I used to do before, um, but I have changed ever so slightly. Right, all I'm going to do is drop in some lines over the top of these teeth. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Way too much. There we go. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Okay, so normally I'd spend a lot more time doing this, making sure that I absolutely cover every part of the tooth and I don't go on everything else. So long as you're not painting on everything else, don't panic about the rest. Okay, again, this is speed painting. So we'll do what we can. I can't actually see that bit. There we go. Bump, bump. Whoa. Right, and on the last model, I actually did the eyebrows slightly as well. Or the top here okay I'm just going to go in on the other side there we go and I also did a little bit on the uh, top here so if we we'll paint the top edge there wet the brush and then go back in and just smooth that out a little bit perhaps not quite as much as that and pull that through there we go that's better so everything I just said about that thick paint is a prime example of when I don't want thick paint on there uh, there we go so again just gently blend that in Uh, 
already dry not the end of the world just pop over it again smooth that out gently okay add a little bit more in there ba -ba -bam. okay so done his toenails just going to pop a little bit on each of these so they're like a bony chest so again I'm not normally I'd I'd blend each one on this I'm not going to do that because it will come out absolutely fine it's got trust in the system okay now all I'm going to do the hands on this one I literally I'm only going to do the claws very very quickly because they're pretty well hidden um, that's not me being I suppose it's me being lazy um, but also it's actually trying to get the angle where you guys can see it um, oh, darn it um, so you can probably see the thumb there the rest of the claws are quite diddy uh, diddy 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 Go over that again. Okay. So now we've got our detail. Yeah, not not masses. Um, all I am going to do is just go over that little tootsie roll there. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so doing thirty six minutes. We're not doing bad. Okay. I'm going to put a colour on the um, big heavy hitty things that he's got on him. Um, I'm going to use a slightly different brush on this one again. So I'm going to quite literally flush this with colour. So I'm going to butt up against the hand and move back. Okay. Okay, that's actually quite thick. So we could just oh poof, gone from one extreme to the other. So add a bit more in. There we go. Okay. There we go. And again, as long as there's no bubbles in there, that will uh, smooth out quite nicely. I'm just going to draw through that fist. Okay, and then at the other side, go up to the hand and draw back. There we go, that's one. Actually, these, these um, I don't know what you'd call them, maces, I suppose. Uh, they're, um, they're actually really uh, quite finicky, whereas normally you'd have a, a sword or an axe or bow and arrow or whatever. The, you know, they're very much straight edges. The, this one's um, it's quite, it's almost like um, driftwood effect it's quite knotty and stuff so it's quite it's a really nice one to do um but a little bit a little bit fiddly but again not to panic okay right okay so slopping the paint on and then just brushing it in all into those little areas Try not to f over flood it. So, you know, put the paint in, but always remember to wipe it away as well. Uh, that's going to be a bit awkward to get on the camera, so I might not be able to. I'm just going to pop that in there. Yeah, that's awkward. Okay. And I've just touched that bit, that's just not clever. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so, um, the only bit of detail I'm going to do now is the eyes. So, 
Um, I do rise very in a very specific way. Um, most people do, do them in a similar way, um, but uh, you know, from a, a, a 